So Prophet Usaid went past this village and that village is to belong to the people and the children of Israel. And that village has been destroyed. It's been destroyed, it's been cut down its trees, the, the houses of that village have been destroyed and demolished. So Uzair went past that village and he was amazed to see the state of that village after it was a vibrant and alive village. It's been destroyed and the people are no longer living and the inhabitants of that village are no longer there. So he said to himself, how would Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revive this village and bring it back to life the way it used to be? Not that he's doubting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will do so, but he is just asking that question where this village used to be at and where the village is at now. Allah azza wa jal wanted a miracle to appear. He had with him his donkey and he had some food. Some of the scholars say it was a bunch of grapes and a bit of bread. So he sat nearby that village, looking at that village from far. So amazed, so shocked to see to the state of that village and the condition of that village. So he ate some of the grapes they had and ate some of that bread. And then he rested under the tree. And he rested early in the morning. And then he slept. Allah Azza wa Jal wanted a miracle to appear. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made Uzair sleep for 100 years. He slept for one full century. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala resurrected him. He didn't die. Uzair found himself awake in the afternoon. So he thought he slept maybe half a day or maybe a day or two. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent to him an angel in which this angel will ask him, and obviously the angel came in the appearance of a human being. He said to him, how long did you sleep for? He said, I slept maybe a day or half a day. So this angel will say to him, you slept for 100 years. You didn't sleep one day, you didn't sleep half a day, but you slept for 100 years. That was a shock to Azair alayhi salam. He had a bunch of grapes and a bit of bread and he had his, his donkey. His food and grapes, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala kept them undamaged, unchanged. But his donkey, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made his donkey die. And not only that, his donkey turned into dust. So Allah wanted to show him the miracle how Allah revives the dead, whether to be a human being, an animal, food, or even a village. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in front of him, him sighting everything with his own eyes, Allah Azza wa Jal made the donkey come back alive the way the donkey was before 100 years. So Allah Azza wa Jal wanted those to realize that Allah can revive whatever he wants. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can revive the dead. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can revive the human being who is dead. Allah can revive the animal in which is dead. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can also revive the village. That 100 years prior and before to that, when he visited that village, that village was destroyed. And in that village, there was not even one human being, one person living in there. After 100 years, when Uzair alayhi salam woke up, he went back to that village and he saw that village once again vibrant and alive. People are living in that village. People had settled in that village. People have houses in that village. People have farms around that village. There is the market. There is people there. The village is so vibrant and alive. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answered Uzair alayhi salam when he says, how could Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revive this dead village after it's dead? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revived it and Allah azza wa jal showed Uzair how Allah brings the dead back alive, whether to be a human being or even an animal. Not only that, even when there's a dead village, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rejuvenated it, Allah azza wa jal revived it.